The prophet Ezekiel was given a vision of the third temple. In the center of the temple is the holy place, and in the holy place is the altar, where sacrifices were made. God gave Ezekiel specific dimensions for the altar. As it is said, Now the altar hearth shall be twelve cubits long by twelve wide, square in its four sides. Ezekiel 43, verse 16. For the twelve by twelve represent the twelve by twelve tribes of Israel. As it says, I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000, sealed from every tribe of the sons of Israel. Revelation 7. For the altar represents the 144,000 prophets and martyrs and saints. As it says, these are the ones who have not defiled themselves with women, for they are celibate. These are the ones who follow the Lamb wherever he goes. These have been purchased from mankind as first fruits to God and to the Lamb. And no lie was found in their mouths. They are blameless. Revelation 14. For the 144,000 are the ones who will be raptured when the sun returns. And all of creation will then understand that they are the standard that men shall be compared to. The altar reminds us of the price that was paid for our redemption. And the 144,000 embody the transformed lives that result from accepting that sacrifice. Just as the altar stood at the center of the temple, so too do the 144,000 stand as central figures in God's plan for the end times. For they have prepared the way for the return of the King.